A holy war of words and statues in Oklahoma as a New York-based satanic temple has a design for a monument the church wants to put on the state capitol grounds right next to a Ten Commandments monument. The statue depicts a demonic goat figure with statues of children at its feet would also be designed for people to sit on. Needless to say, this idea isn't sitting well with lawmakers. What will disqualify them has really nothing to do with Satan as such. It's that it has no historical significance for the state of Oklahoma. The only reason why the Ten Commandments qualified is because at the Capitol what we do is we make laws. We are lawmakers. Well, one of the earliest laws that we have are the Ten Commandments. So therefore, it has historical significance. It, it absolutely is of historic value. Not only would a satanic monument send a clear and distinct message that America respects plurality, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, but it would also stand as a historical marker commemorating scapegoats, the marginalized, and the demonized minority, the unjustly outcast. Well, the monument still has to pass through a preservation committee, which has a moratorium on improving new monuments following a lawsuit filed by the ACLU. The Satanic Temple maintains that the Oklahoma legislature's decision to authorize a privately funded Ten Commandments monument at the Capitol opened the door for its statue.